Hello everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London and today I am doing my Christmas crime book guide because I love my crime and it does get very good at Christmas it's just, I don't know what it is, crime and Christmas just work well together because they bring people together so then the murder gets more complicated so it's really good anyway, this is my list of fantastic Christmas crime novels that I think you should check out and to start with I have The Queen of Crime uh, this is The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding um, by Agatha Christie and this has a 3.72 on Goodreads it's published by Harper um, it's 363 pages long and basically this is Poirot and Marple uh, Christmas short stories and I just love those two they're my two favourite characters in literature they're amazing and just so interesting <laughs> and you should definitely check this out if you're a fan of Agatha Christie um, next I have another one from the Queen of Crime um, and that is Hercule Poirot's Christmas um, by Agatha Christie. This has a 3.91 on Goodreads. It's published by HarperCollins. It's 335 pages long and basically this is Poirot's Christmas mystery and it's filled with diamonds. <gasps> Sparkly! <laughs> but it's really good. You should definitely check it out. Next on the list I have Murder on Christmas Eve and this is by various different authors. This has got a 3.43 on Goodreads, it's published by Profile, it's 234 pages long and it's basically short story murder mysteries uh, done from people of the likes of Ian Rankin and Val McDermott and a few of the classics as well so it's really really good, you should definitely check it out. They've also done a, another it's become like a series, so they, I think they're going to do one every year now. So, <laughs> the other one is Murder Under the Christmas Tree, um, and this one's a 3.6 on Goodreads, published again by Profile. This is 288 pages long, and this set of murder mystery short stories includes things from Agatha Christie and Dorothy L. Sayers. And so, yeah, so, this is a bit more oldie than the other one. But I like both of them. They're really, really, really good. Um, next we have A May Grey Christmas. And this is by Georges Simon. This has got a 3.98 on Goodreads. It's published by Penguin. And the cover is amazing. Um, it's 224 pages long. And this is three Christmas May Grey stories. And if you don't know who May Grey is, May Grey is a fantastic and very solitary detective. <laughs> I absolutely love and Rowan Atkinson is playing him on the TV at the moment through ITV so if you haven't checked those out definitely do he's he's doing fantastically well with the character I really like his interpretation although the original was done by Michael Gambon I still like that one as well so I'm a bit torn but I like both because they're different interpretations so yes but you should definitely check out this <laughs> A selection of Christmas stories from May Gray. Next we have The Mistletoe Murder and this is by P.D. James and this has got a 3.79 on Goodreads. It's published by Faber Faber. I don't know why I have trouble saying that name. <laughs> it's, it's the, <laughs> the, the way you have to use your lips to say Faber Faber. It's quite a lot of effort. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this is 136 pages long. It's a collection of Christmas short stories um, of murder mystery short stories by the fabulous P.D. James, who is just second to the queen of crime, I would say. She's really, really, really good. Um, next on the list, we have Portrait of a Merger, and this is by Anne Meredith. It's got a 3.48 on Goodreads. It's a British Library crime classic. 240 pages long and basically Grey is inviting his family for Christmas but they all want to murder him basically <laughs> and will he stay alive is the question next we have another thing from the British Library crime classics and that is Silent Nights by Martin Edwards and this has a 3.7 um on Goodreads and it is 256 pages long and it's a collection of short story Christmas crime 
I should say crime, Christmas crime short stories, that's the better way to say it, but yes, it looks very good, and I can't wait to sink into it. Um, the next is another one from the British Library Crime Classics, I love them, they're just really good, they're really good. This one's Mystery in White, and this is by J. Jefferson Furon. I believe that's how you say his last name, I think I pronounced it right. I'm sorry if I haven't. Uh, it's got a 3.34 on Goodreads and it's 256 pages and it's basically the passengers go to a deserted country house because obviously the train broke down. Um, but it is not what it all seems. Um, <laughs> next we have the Santa Claus murder and this is by Mavis Doral Hay. Um, that went really high, I don't know why. Um, it's got a 3.38 on Goodreads and it's published by Poison Pen Press. It's 252 pages long and it's basically a country house murder kind of thing. I don't know much about it but it's supposed to be very very good. Next we have a Christmas world. I can't say anything today, I don't know. I'm just getting all my mixed up. Um, this is called A Christmas Railway Mystery and it's by Edward Marston and it's 4.26 on Goodreads. It's published by Alison and Busby and it is 352 pages long and it's another railway mystery in his series of railway mysteries which is supposed to be very good which I haven't read yet. Um, but this one is feeling a bit chilly <laughs> as it's set in the Christmas time. Um, Next we have something called Murder in the Snow and this is by Gladys Mitchell and her um, crime series is very very popular, um, written in I think the 20s. Um, and this has got a 3.47 on Goodreads, it's published by Vintage, it's 220 pages long and this is a Mrs Bradley um, who is a psychiatrist. Yes she's a psychiatrist, I always get confused between psychologist and psychiatrist, I don't know why. It's a weird, it's something my brain can't compute. Um, but yeah, so this is her Christmas case and it sounds very mysterious and mindy. <laughs> um, next we have another Christmas, another little Christmas murder and this is by Lorna Nicole Morgan. It's got a 3.4 or 2 on Goodreads. It's published by Sapphire. Sapphire? Sphere. It's 256 pages long and basically Dilly and Indigo are investigating a natural death or is it a natural death or did something happen? I think something happened. <laughs> Next we have An English Murder and this is by Cyril Hare and Cyril Hare's uh, stuff are very 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 popular like as popular yeah, as Patricia Highsmith's in a way. Uh, this has a 3.79 on Goodreads, it's a shorty, so only 178 pages long, published by Faber and Faber, gone at that time. Um, and this basically a country house, there's basically, it's set in a country house and there's many different murders and it's just going to cozy yourself up in this little mystery. Or should I say rather large mystery? Because there is more than one word in it. <laughs> Second to last we have Murder in Advent. And this is by David Williams. And this has a 3.13 on Goodreads. It's published by Macmillan. It's 203 pages long. And basically the Magna Carta. This is a weird one. It involves the Magna Carta. A murder and it's all under the roof of Lichester. God the names we come up with in England. Lichester <laughs> Cathedral. <laughs> so yes, it's going to be a religious and mysterious murder. Um last but not least we have Murder at the Old Vicarage and this is by Jill McGowan and it has a three point eight on Goodreads, it's published by Vintage, it's 240 pages long and basically a domestic murder with Jill and Lloyd on the case in 
Byford. I love the names we come up with for towns. <laughs> it's just so funny. Anyway, that is my complete list of all the Christmas crime books I absolutely love and have thoroughly enjoyed as a cosy Christmas crime read. Let me know in the comments down below which Christmas crime reads you are enjoying this Christmas and if you enjoyed this video guys give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel you can click the subscribe button below to see more of me talk about books, films, TV shows and comics. Have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon for a new video. Bye!